Hi, this is Christy Mendoza with Alabama Extension's Food Safety and Quality Team. This video is to show you how to use the pressure canner gauge tester. It's recommended that you test your pressure canner gauge every year before you start the canning season. Call your local county extension office and make an appointment to use our pressure canner tester. I asked my friend Ashley to help demonstrate. She's never done this before, so you can see she does okay and so can you. You will need the canner gauge tester with foot pedal and your pressure canner gauge attached to the lid or not. Either way is fine. Okay, let's get started. Here's Ashley. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Do you have your pressure canner gauge, the lid? Yep, lid with gauge, that's good. You have the tester on a sturdy table and the tester gauge is there as well. Right. The highest part of the tester should be closest to you. Also, you should have the foot pedal on the floor. I should mention that you might have to unhook the foot pedal to operate it. It's that little silver hook right there. First, we need to place the tester's gauge on the tester. It goes on the tall pipe in the back. It's a quick connect, so push it till it clicks. In the blue cup, there's little rubber things. Put a small one on, yes, right there on the small tube sticking out the top right in front of you. Now to test. Place the lid on the tester where the hole for the gauge is on that little tube in the front. Hold the lid parallel to the tester as Ashley is doing. Hold it there firmly. Alternately, you can remove the gauge from your lid and test just the gauge. Pump the foot pedal until the tester gauge reads five pounds. Compare your gauge to the tester. They should be the same. Then pump the tester to 10 pounds. Again, they should be the same. Once more to 15 pounds. Oh no, it looks like our gauge is over 15 pounds. If your gauge is off by one pound at five, 10, or 15, it's still okay to use. Just make the adjustments when you're canning. If your gauge is off by two pounds, it's recommended that you buy a new gauge. Here's a few more things. You shouldn't hear any air leaking from your gauge while testing. Hold it firmly. If you still hear leaks, try a different rubber piece, or you may just need a new gauge. Also, you should check the other rubber parts of your lid. Check the seal, the safety plug, and where the gauge goes. They should be rubbery soft and without cracks. Hold the lid up to the light to make sure the vent and the gauge pipes are clean. Just in case you missed something, the directions are printed on a sticker right there on the tester. 